To create the wheel, I'm going to go to New, Standard.IPT, and select Create. Start a 2D sketch. And I'm going to start this sketch on the right hand plane. I'll use the line tool. And I'll start down here at the origin. I'm going to make a line going upward to one inch. Then coming out to the left, it should come out 0.25. It will go down 0.25. Coming into the right, back toward the origin, we want to go 0.125. From there, straight down 0.5 inches. Back out to the left, 0.125. Down to the x axis at 0.25. And back to the origin where we started. Then I'm going to create a circle. And up top, what's nice is we get a green dot if we're on an outside point. So those are known points. But right in the middle of the line, we also get a green dot. So I don't have to dimension this location. I'm going to click. And then I'm going to bring it out to the side where I get a green dot here. You'll notice the measurement says 0 0.250, which is what I want. So I'll click there to place it. I'm also going to come in and put in a fillet. And the measurement on my fillet is 0 0.0625. Enter that value. And I need to put it on the corner here, on the inside corner, on the corner inside here, and on this outside corner. Now, most of the time it was letting me just click the corner and was fine. If it doesn't, you can click a line and then click the um, perpendicular line to it, and that'll complete it for you. When you're done with the fillet, just click the X to close it. With that done, I'm going to finish the sketch. Then I'm going to use the Revolve tool. Select both the circle that we just created and the rest of the diagram. I'll expand. Switch to this orange arrow for next to axis. And I'm going to click the bottom line and click OK. So that creates the structure of the wheel for me. Now I need to add some of the features. It has uh, cut out inserts for it. Kind of giving it a mag design here. To do that, I'm going to start a 2D sketch. Click on the back of the wheel. I'll draw out a line coming vertically, or sorry, horizontally out to the right. Then I'm going to do another line, and it's going to come up at a little bit of an angle there. I'll use the dimension tool, click the new line, click the original line, avoiding any green dots because that will dimension it to that point, and pull out to the side. This allows me to dimension an angle. I want to go 15 degrees here, and then I need one more line starting at the origin again and coming up above it. Use the dimension tool and between these two lines I want 30 degrees. Now I'm going to create a couple of circles. One I'm starting here on the inside. I'm told it has a radius of 0.375 so my diameter needs to double that. I'm going to type in 0.375 asterisk and the number 2. And then my second one has a radius of 0.625. So pull it out again, type in 0.625, asterisk 2, and enter. What I'm going to do now is trim away the majority of this. So I choose the trim feature. And all I really want to keep is just the little section right here. So I'm going to trim away the um, parts of the line that extend out past the outer circle the parts of the line that are inside the inner circle. And then I'm going to trim away the large part of those two circles. 
and occasionally I get left with a little bit right here that I need to get rid of as well. The line there is really not hurting anything. I could trim it away if I wanted. But what I want is I want the two arcs here and the two lines. I'll finish the sketch, do an extrude of this small portion, change it to a cut, and tell it to go all the way through, and OK. So that gives me the original uh, cut out here. Now I need to repeat that. And I can do that in the pattern section if I choose a circular pattern. Select it, click the inside edge, and it's important that you keep this at an angle. If I try to turn this to the back here, I can't select that. So I'll leave it angled so that I can click inside. My rotation axis, then I can come around and just get the outside of the wheel. And there are six cutouts, so the placement is six, and I click OK. I'll come back around to the front of the wheel need to add a couple things. There's a hole that goes right through the middle. So we can come in and I could start a sketch there but there's another nice feature in the hole that if I click on it and change this from linear to concentric I can then tell it that I want my hole to be placed here and I have a concentric reference which I can click and then I can pick any of these circles within here and it'll center it within that circle. The diameter of this hole is 0.28 and it goes all the way through so I'm going to change the termination to through all and I'm going to set the diameter to 0.28 and click OK. The last thing that's left is I need to add the uh, peg for the linkage arm so I'm going to start a sketch on the face here it's on this inside portion where the mag cutouts are I'll do a circle and place it just along the x-axis. The diameter of this first circle is 0.25 and I need to locate it from the center or from the origin to the center of that circle is 0.7. That's going to cover up the majority of it. It's not a problem because it's going to be extruded out. So I finish the sketch. I choose to extrude, selecting the circle that I just made. It gets extruded out 0.375 and OK. Then I come back and I start a sketch on the top of that circle or cylinder that I just created. I'm going to now use the center point here. And fortunately, fortunately it gives me a crosshair right in the middle of it so I can locate that. The diameter of this one is 0.125. Finish the sketch, do an extrude, and it comes out 0.125. And then finally, we need a hole that is 0.0625 in diameter and 0.25 deep. So I'll go to the hole feature. Again, I'll change this from linear to concentric. It does not go through all, so I'll set the distance and my depth is 0.25, my diameter is 0 0.0625. I can click on the face and then use the concentric reference and click the outside circle. Rather than a angled drill point, I want a flat drill point and I'll click OK. And that has my completed wheel. I'll go up to save and then just call it wheel.